welcome to another episode of the Modern Manifestation Podcast. I'm your host, Bree Brown, a lettuce-hating, wine-loving, curses-like-a-sailor, recovering perfectionist. Having thrived in a male-dominated, commission-based industry, I'm passionate about helping women boldly pursue their life goals. In this space, we build confidence with our mindset, manifestation, and spirituality. I believe that your life manifests as a result of who you are, not what you do, and that your personality creates your personal reality. Join this growing community to increase your net worth by increasing your self-worth. Now let's jump into today's topic. Hello, hello, my beautiful souls, and welcome back to the Modern Manifestation Podcast. So the holidays are now behind us. And for many of us, that means that we're still dealing with the stress and anxiety that came with them. For some people, they love the holidays. That's great. But today's episode is for those of us who need a little bit more self-care after the holiday season, a little bit more time to manage that stress and to deal with that dysregulation and come back to ourselves. So in today's episode, I'm going to cover just a few of my favorite self-care tips that are inexpensive, easy to do, and will help you begin to reclaim your energy. And honestly, your sanity. (laughs) Self-care does not have to be expensive and it doesn't have to be time consuming. Even just a few minutes a day will make all the difference following the holiday season. So let's jump in. The first self-care tip I have is one of my favorite things to do. And I almost don't want to say it right off the bat because I want to tell you all the benefits before I give you the tagline because I don't want you to roll your eyes and and to skip over. But I'm going to tell you anyway. One of my favorite self-care tips is to take Epsom salt baths. And before you decide against them, hear me out. Epsom salt baths are extremely calming for the body and extremely calming for the nervous system. And if you want some data behind it, this comes from a health website I found, Epsom salt baths will help you, one, regulate your electrolytes for proper functioning of the muscles, nerves, and enzyme production, two, relieve pain, three, relax your muscles, those kind of go hand in hand, four, eliminate toxins from the body through reverse osmosis, and five, probably most importantly, help us rebalance our magnesium levels. And the reason I say that one's the most important is because magnesium levels are depleted when we're stressed. Magnesium levels are depleted by cortisol and adrenaline. And guess what a lot of us experience during the holidays? You guessed it, stress. So it's kind of like a catch-22 because magnesium can actually help you handle stress and can help keep you from stress, but it's also depleted when stress is actually occurring in the body. So it's a double-edged sword, right? So Epsom salt baths are a great way to help you increase your magnesium levels because that's what Epsom salt is. Epsom salt is magnesium sulfate, and it can be absorbed through the skin barrier. So magnesium is critical for helping us deal with stress, and it is the fourth most common mineral in our body, and over half the population, or at least the U.S. population, is deficient in this mineral. And it's critical in order for us to get better sleep, relaxation, in order to optimize our blood sugar levels, inflammation. It can help us with depression, heart health, bone health, anxiety. There are so many processes in the body that magnesium are critical for, and it's a shame that half of us are deficient in this. So high levels of stress can deplete our magnesium stores. And when our stores are low, we can experience insomnia, weight gain, anxiety, all the things that come with stress, which oddly enough adds more stress for most of us. So a great way to break this cycle after a particularly stressful time in your life is to increase your magnesium levels through supplements, but also through Epsom salt baths, because the bath part is super relaxing and super regulating in my experience. And the last thing I'm going to say about magnesium, because I know I've kind of like gone off on this a little bit, (laughs) magnesium levels are responsible for our vitamin D levels. Fun fact, according to Pharmacy Times here. So low levels of magnesium can make any vitamin D that you are taking ineffective. So if you've been told that you have low vitamin D levels and you've been taking in a supplement and for whatever reason your vitamin D levels just aren't going back up, 
take a look at your magnesium levels. That could be a solution for you. Again, I'm not a doctor. This is not advice. This is just something to think about. It's something that I've noticed for myself. I struggled with vitamin D issues. I also had a deficiency in magnesium. The two went hand in hand. I started increasing magnesium. Boom, my vitamin D levels started going up, and I didn't even increase or change my vitamin D supplementation. So last thing I'll say about it, Epsom salt bath is not only very relaxing, but it's a great way to help your body rebalance itself after a stressful time. And I've heard some people say they're grossed out by the hygiene of it. You can always take a shower first and then get in the bathtub. If you're worried about like marinating in your own juices, I know that sounds disgusting, but that's the excuse I've heard from people. (laughs) Clean yourself first and then get in the bath if that's a concern for you. Boom. Give me another objection. (laughs) Of course, if you don't have a bathtub, that's going to be a lot more difficult for you to do. But for people that have bathtubs, this is a great way for you to calm down and to rebalance. And all you need to do is fill up the tub with some warm water or hot water. I like it scolding. Add a cup of more of Epsom salt. Add your favorite essential oils like lavender or vertiver or whatever. Light some candles. Sink in for a while. Maybe turn on a meditation app and let yourself go into meditation or read or just do something that's really going to help your mental health. The next self-care tip I'm going to mention, and you're probably ready for this one, is meditation. (laughs) Yes, just meditate. I've said it a thousand times. I will say it a thousand more times. I know it sounds so simple. And meditation is one of the best ways to calm our nervous system, reduce our cortisol levels, and find peace, especially in a stressful environment. And it is absolutely free. All you need is a place to sit or stand. And I guarantee every single one of us have this ability. And you might think that you can't meditate in a loud space, which can often be the case during the holidays, but that's not true. There are many people who dedicate their meditation practices toward finding peace in chaotic environments. But if you are interested in trying this out and you're worried you're not going to be able to get to that Zen state because of a chaotic environment, then take some earplugs or grab some headphones or put on a guided meditation. Like I've mentioned, Insight Timer is a free app that has a lot of great meditations on there for you to listen to. Meditation is a great self-care practice because it's something you can do no matter where you are. And for a little more inspiration on meditation, check out any of my recent blog posts or episodes on meditation. I did types of meditation, benefits of meditation, uh, intrusive thoughts in meditation. I mean, there's so many that you can go back and listen to to help you get inspired. And then my third self-care tip for you is also very easy to do. And I'm specifically mentioning this one for people that just feel like they don't have a lot of time, effort, or energy to do something for themselves as they're gearing up to go back to work and as they're trying to unpack and just get the house ready. So this is for the people that are really stressed for time. My third tip is to find crystals that can support you. Yes, cue the eye rolls. I am one of those people that uses crystals all the time to help with my mood. I personally swear by them. I wear black onyx almost all the time, rose quartz consistently. Right now I'm wearing howlite and amethyst. For me, these help calm myself a lot. And it could be the placebo effect, right? It could be the fact that I'm wearing them and they remind me to find an inner state of calmness and peace. Or it could be that the crystals themselves are actually helping to move energy through me and around me in a healthy way. I choose to believe the latter. You don't have to. So just find a way to incorporate more crystals around you. I actually have a, this is going to sound silly, but I 